When a substance is exposed to laser light, nearly all of the scattered light produced is Rayleigh scattered light. However, a very small percentage is Raman scattered light. Because the percentage is so small, this light is invisible to the naked eye. However, with the use of certain tools, this light becomes visible. This is the spectrum of scattered light from the sample. Because we are using a 532 nanometer excitation wavelength, we can detect both strong Rayleigh scattered light at 532 nanometers and weak Raman scattered light at a longer wavelength. Light at 532 nanometers is visible as green light. Therefore, at first, a strong green light was observed. Raman scattered light, on the other hand, is too weak to be seen. Next, by using the filter, Rayleigh scattered light at 532 nanometers is blocked. Now, the Raman scattered light emitted at a longer wavelength is visible. This is the Raman spectrum of water. When using an excitation wavelength of 532 nanometers, the Raman peak of water appears around 650 nanometers, the wavelength of the color red. That is why the Raman light was visible as red light. Usually, the horizontal axis of a Raman spectrum is indicated by wave number, not wavelength. By using wave number, we see the Raman spectrum of water independent of the excitation wavelength. 